Hi, this is Slam Tilt, or Russell, as my real name is. Um, and I'm just going to give you a demonstration of um, setting up lighting in a future pinball table using BAM, better arcade mode. So this is a table I'm currently working on, which is Attack from Mars. Uh, it's a mod that I'm doing of the original future pinball build, which was created a while ago by Pinbolt and Francisco666. So this is a really, really good table. I mean, everyone knows Attack from Mars. It's a classic. Number two best table in the whole wide world. Second only to Medieval Madness. I mean, uh, an incredible game by Brian Eddy. Anyway, if each pinball allows you to um, to do an exact recreation of any real-world pinball game, or you can create original games, or you can do what I do, which is take the original game and then sort of like make differences and changes to it, which is what I'm doing here with this, what I did with Iron Man and various other tables I've worked with. So this is how you set up lighting in BAM. So when you first start BAM, um, you'll have the basic menu option. So I'll just go back to the basic menu option. So this is what you have. It defaults to the basic menu. So you want to switch it to advanced. So this is the second line down, menu type, advanced or basic. So you want to set it to advanced. Now this allows you to access the lighting system in BAM. Now what BAM does is it sort of overhauls the lighting systems and allows um, hardware lighting, which is used in Future Pinball, to be more sort of like um, localized rather than spread across the whole table. A flash will flash in a localized area and the area around the flash will be lit and it kind of dissipates as it gets further out. So it's kind of like it does per pixel lighting. So the first thing I do, and I do this with all of my games, when I first create them I have to do this, but once you've done it and saved it, you don't have to do it again. So you switch to lights, and as you can see the light system is defaulted to Future Pinball's original. Now I'll give you a quick demonstration of Future Pinball original lighting. So this is Future Pinball original lighting. Now if I set up a flasher in the top left, one of these base source of things, it's not very dramatic at all. You can hardly see it. I mean, on a real table, that flasher would blind you completely. But in Future Pinball's original lighting, you know, you barely get any effect at all. So, um, and if we whiz around the table, you can see that everything is kind of equally, equally lit. There's nothing localized. It's kind of like a general, sort of overbearingly saturated version of the lighting system. So it's quite bad. So we go back to the lighting system and we switch that to new renderer. Now your new renderer is using the, the BAM specific renderer. So we want to go down to the uh, options here. Now I set it to dark night. Now dark night is too dark. So I just want to change some of the parameters. So I increase the diffuse to three, which makes it slightly, slightly brighter. The specular is too, too much. So I bring that down to one. Specular is what lights the objects in the game. If it's too if it's too much it will look too saturated so you bring that down to one and ambient is the overall room sort of lighting so I set that to about five now that's all I do and then come out of BAM and just like that it looks so much better with lighting localized to where it's coming from to the point of origin if you like so if we go back to the flasher it's, it's not amazingly awesome as you'd expect on a real table but it's as, it's much better you can see it's more localized and I'll just zoom in so you can see that. So you see the, the light around the flasher is actually illuminating the side wall, it's illuminating the back wall, it's illuminating the play field, it's illuminating the side of the saucer. So you can see it's very clearly coming from that light source. And then when you go back further out, it's still affecting way back here, the flippers, but it's kind of like it's not as bright. It's not as doesn't saturate the whole play field in one sort of like even light it's more localized so what I've done is I've taken that technology the the ability to create hardware lighting in future pinball and sort of blended that into the GI now on a real pinball game obviously every single bulb gives off light and creates its own shadow map now that's very difficult to do in the real world because that would require a supercomputer to have every single bulb create dynamic light and its own shadow map. I mean, it would look amazing, but it would slow down even the most powerful systems. So what you have to do is you have to fake it. So there's a lot of fakery involved 
when you're building the future pinball table. Like I've added um, like a shadow to the posts. See the shadows coming off the posts there. Now that's uh, hard coded. I mean that's built into the actual playfield image itself that I've added. There is no shadow there. There's no real time shadow in this game anywhere because future pinball doesn't have the capability to create real time shadows just yet. But it does have the capability to create hardware lighting. So the GIs now, when you switch them off, the whole playfield goes dark. When you switch them on, the whole playfield lights up. Now this is achieved by having hardware lights under the slingshots. There's only two that, that register the whole of the GI. So when the ball is rolling around the playfield, the ball will pick up light from these hardware lights which are secreted underneath the uh, slingshots. So that's on off on off and that carries across the entire playfield so you see that everything is illuminated everything lights up and it's all coming from the the lights underneath the slingshots so everything is illuminated the back wall the side walls the toys everything has a light cast on it from the GI so when you do flashing things like that you get that kind of effect you see that's me pressing two keys at the same time, but it creates that kind of a flashing effect. Which is what we all want in the pinball game. We all want pinball games to look as real as possible. And the biggest appeal of a pinball game for most people is the lighting. And it's very difficult to replicate that in a simulation. I mean, even Pinball FX, you know, it struggles. But with Future Pinball, you can kind of, um, you can get partially there. I mean, we've still got a long way to go. To recreate exactly what happens in a in the real world, you know, with every single light having a shadow map. But this is as good as it gets at the moment with Future Pinball. So that's how you set up Future Pinball to use lighting, um, correct lighting with the better arcade mode. So it just looks so much better. And um, we're getting there in this in the virtual pinball simulation world. We are getting to the point where we can almost get realistic lighting, but it's we're not quite there yet. But this is a step, major, huge step, in the right direction. Anyway, this game is um, Attack from Mars. It's what I'm currently working on. Um, and it will be released sometime next year. A lot of work has gone into making this flip with the new flippers and the new physics as good as I can possibly make it. Um, and I've added some extra fun features like the LCD screen there and all kinds of other things. It's, uh, it's a great game. And I really uh, enjoyed working on it. Okay, that's enough from me. I'll speak to you again pretty soon, I should think. And if I don't speak to you before Christmas, have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. Annihilate! Kill!